Just because something is trending on social media doesn't mean you should try it. And that's what we're here for. We're about to reveal to you which trends are worth the buzz and which ones are a bust. I'm gonna start this one off with something I'm familiar with. Bike shorts. <laughs> Spandex. I wear them, I confess, while riding my bike. Those are some bling. Yeah, some snappy bike shorts. gold when you, shorts. When you look good, you bike good, Drew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but now celebrities are wearing them out on the town. How many of you remember this from the 1990s, right? We yeah. all did this at some point. It was first popularized by Princess Diana. And so she was very well photographed and known for wearing her bike shorts and her sweatshirt and going out about the town. But now, much more recently, we've seen Kim K, we've seen Black China, we've seen a lot of the kind of more modern day celebs posting this on social media. Wearing bike shorts, essentially spandex shorts for fashion. Correct. But here's my thing. I don't care, fashion-wise, that could look great, but I would think this is a bust. Yeah. My least favorite part about going on a bike ride is wearing those shorts, because <laughs> it gets tight, it gets hot. Well, that's why you're wearing sweaty. them. You want support. You want things to stay in the right If way. you're on but, the but bike, while you're on the yes. Bike. So I think to his point, I think we probably, as physicians, would call this a bust. Because I think that if you're wearing them because you need the support and you're wearing them for the athletic wear, that's great. But when people are wearing them all day, there is some health risks to it. So that compression in an ongoing way can even in some cases cause something, cause something called paralgia paresthetica. And you may know this because yep. you wear compression shorts a lot, but we see it much more in pregnant people. People gain weight really suddenly and it puts a lot of pressure on the nerves and the groin. Yes, it does. But if you're wearing, I think a lot of us women like me who wear shapewear can also be at risk for this because you have this constant compression, you know, like Spanx, things like that, and they're putting compression on the nerves in the groin area, and so you may get some tingling, some nerve irritation. It can cause a burning sensation. So that's kind of the nerve I side mean, of it. I mean, you said it, it is really shapewear mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah, and, and so, and then the other aspect of it is that when it's that tight and occlusive, you're gonna get sweaty and a little moist, and then you're keeping that in contact with your skin for hours on end. So that's really conducive to more chafing, to yeast infections or overgrowths. I, I just think it's not great. So for I think it, it's well. one of those, if you're gonna wear these tight garments, wear them for a limited time, you don't wanna wear these all day, all night. And I speak from experience, having worn these things all day, at times into the night. And my favorite moment is just the- Just taking them off. Oh, the, when you, and you just, everything <laughs> breathes. I think anyone oh. who's worn shapewear can- Maybe, I used to get to my campsite to at night when yeah. I was on this trip Maybe. and I would, I would go, I'd always try to find one near a stream and I would try to go skinny dip as much as possible. And there was nothing like letting the family jewels just go soak in that cool stream <laughs> after being in that tight, well, I those guess tight Kim bike shorts doesn't all have day. that problem. Yeah, no, I mean, the, I the mean, thing for your that, spin class, for your yoga class, whatever, you want to wear but, them? But that's what they're promoting. these, like wear them from yoga to cocktails, just change your shoes. And so I think that would be a more prolonged and maybe not the healthiest way to wear them.